Okay guys, Jamil here with Dealers Gear. Today we're gonna talk about handling a phone call at your dealership. If you are a dealership who doesn't have a BDC and you have salespeople handling the uh, phone calls at the dealership, we recommend to have a BDC. If you need help, uh, help with the structure in a BDC or training you guys how to handle the phone calls, you can reach out. But in this video, I'm gonna give you the fundamentals and the most important uh, uh, thing that you need to understand when handling phone calls. We often come across so many dealers or so many salespeople or BDC agents that they are discussing uh, finance, discussing uh, payments, discussing uh, the price on the phone. It's not your job. When handling a phone call and answering a phone call at the dealership, your job is to sell the appointment. We don't sell cars on, over the phone. A customer comes and calls you and say, hey, you know what, is the price negotiable? Yes, sir. Everything is negotiable. I have an opening in the next 45 minutes. Would that work for you? Notice that right away I jumped and I went towards the appointment because I want to basically close the customer on the appointment uh, when I'm talking to him on the phone. So many people try to discuss uh, the finance, the terms, the APR. And now sometimes if you give the customer too much information, you might lose him. So we want to avoid discussing payments, discussing a price, discussing uh, any other options. Like, hey, do you guys give me a free warranty? Tell me, you know what, sir? I cannot discuss this, I'm a salesperson here, but I'm sure if you come down here, we can discuss it with the manager and he'll make it happen for you. By the way, I have an opening at 115, 125. I try not to give even numbers, like a four, five, six o'clock, because humans tend to remember numbers like 515, 560, 545, 555. So not only they remember it, but you kind of create an urgency. When you talk about 445, you are telling the customer, you know what? Oh, you, they might be busy. That's why he gave me a 445 an appointment, not like a four or five or, you know? So you create an urgency. Plus you want to you wanna make sure you bring the appointment word within the, the first 30 to one minute, 30 seconds to one minute. So basically he, he asks you, hey, is this car still av available? Yes, sir, it's still available and it's ready for a tested drive. By the way, I have an opening in the next 45 minutes. Would that work for you? Right away, you wanna to jump to the appointment, to the appointment, because we're selling appointments, we're not selling cars. When you, sell, when you come back at him and tell him, hey, you know what, I have an opening in the next 45 minutes, he might tell you, oh, I'm at work, it's not gonna work. What time do people finish work? Five or six. I have an opening at 5.15, 5.45, 6.15. What time would work better for you? Now, there is something called tagging question in, in English, which is, oh, basically you, you tell him, I have an opening at 4.45, 5.55, 6.15. What would work for you? Humans were born to be followers. So it, it, psychologically, when you give him an option, he most likely gonna give you an answer. So if you tell him 445, 625, 525, or you know, like basically you give him multiple options, he most likely gonna schedule himself. So you wanna focus on selling the appointment, not discussing into um, uh, finances, prices again and again and again. If somebody uh, calls you and says, hey, I'm, I'm calling from, let's say, uh, Arizona, and you are in California, we are in California. You want to focus on saying the positive words in the conversation when handling a phone call. Not far, great deal. Uh, anything positive in the conversation to get the customer feeling comfortable. So let's say he's calling from Arizona. He's trying to buy a Shelby 500, 5.8 liter. He knows his stuff. The guy's calling from Arizona. Hey, I'm calling from Arizona though. Uh, I am far. I'm just trying to get a good deal. I mean, you know what? It's not far. We get customers coming from all over the country to buy our cars because we have quality cars and great prices. Now he says, for example, oh, but I need a good deal. So how do you come about this? You know what? I'm in the business to give you a good deal, Mr. Customer, but if I give you the car for free and you don't like it, you're not going to buy it, would you? So you come down, you test it, feel it, ride it, drive it, and I'm sure my, my manager is going to give you a great deal. Did I mention a great deal on what? No. A great deal on the warranty, the gap, the tint, the rents that we're gonna sell you? I didn't mention the car. We are not lying, okay? 
I'm going to give you a good deal, but maybe the good deal is going to be on the gab or the warranty. But now I'm not only selling the car, I'm selling the aftermarket stuff. So basically, you want to focus on the appointment, mention the appointment within 30 seconds to one minute, and be positive. Everything you say on the phone needs to be positive. So if somebody comes and, you know, insult you, some, some customers are just, they give a crazy offers. I went, I've been there, I've done that. The car is 15000 and he calls, hey, you know what, would you take $12,000 for it? So the first question is going to be, you know what, customer, have you seen it for 12000 for the same color or mileage? He says, no, but I am looking for a great deal. Yeah, Mr. Customer, and I'm here to give you a great deal. Okay, if I give you the car for 12000 and it's, it's not good and it has a bad transmission, would you buy it? No. So why don't you come down? I have an opening in the next 45 minutes to an hour to test to drive it. Would that work for you? Now, I basically kind of took control of the conversation and I focused on the appointment. So let's revamp what we said. Sell the appointment, don't sell the car. Do not discuss finance. You're not a manager. If you are answering the phone call, the first thing you need to think about is the appointment. You are answering the phone to sell the appointment. Somebody's calling you, he sold himself because he found your ad and he's interested in a car. Your job to sell the appointment, when he comes into the dealership, your job is not to sell the car, is to close the deal. So if you have any question, please reach out, dealersgear.com, 949-923-0190.